Hello, everyone. Hi. <laughs> oh, why does I always say that? Okay, just go. So, it is me, Butterfly Spirit, a.k.a. Michelle, and this is Anwan, your hero, and we are back for another video. So, the title of this video is Questions and Answers About Our Marriage. We are not married yet, but we are engaged, and we get a lot of people asking questions about, you know, us getting married, what it's going to be, and stuff like that, or what have you. So, in this video, we're going to be answering questions because we did a video about how we met and why we're not married. But today, I thought, you know, after I was doing some editing to that video, I thought, hmm, why don't I go and directly answer some of these questions and stuff like that? Now, it could be long, but um, it's something where we're going to, you know, give a lot of, um, we're going to give the information and answer those questions directly that people keep asking so they can stop asking me and <laughs> so I don't have to keep doing it I'll just direct people to a video and that'll be that you know so I won't have to worry about it if that makes sense so um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, start so the first question is a very popular question that I get and they ask me because I'm going to be the, the bride. So they, they go and ask the girl who's going to bride me. So they say, when are you getting married? And when I hear that, I think, I don't know. Now, what I say is, you know, because it's like family, you know, I kind of get tripped up a bit. And I don't really know what to say. But, I mean, I know, personally, I know that you know, I'm not ready. I don't have the money to get married. And, you know, when people say, when are you getting married? They assume because you're engaged that, you know, that you're going to magically have, you know, everything ready to get married, you know, straight out the yin yang, just going to happen. Easy, quick, fast. And, you know, the answer that I would give uh, to when are, you know, me and him getting married is when we're ready, when we have the money saved up. You know, when the two of us, you know, have decided, you know, what our futures are going to be like, you know, we've gotten a chance to, you know, um, think about, you know, other aspects like us running businesses and stuff like that. It's basically when we're ready. And we're not doing it any sooner than when we're ready. We're not accepting people forcing or pressuring or anything. We are getting married when we are ready. Okay, so that's the answer to that question. Anwan, did you have anything to add about when we're getting married to answer that question from your standpoint? Well, from the male perspective, the, the, the husband to be perspective, anyway. What do uh, you think, honey? For me, unless I know how to deal with her depression, unless I know how to make her happy, how to cheer her up. Until I get that, those things under wraps, because those are very important to me. You know, I don't really got any business being a husband unless I can cheer my woman up, make my woman feel good, know what makes her happy, you know, and make her smile, things like that. And actually be able to do those type of things when she needs it the most, like when there's a death in the family, like when somebody close to her has passed, or like when, you know, Somebody close to her, defriended her on Facebook over some Christian bullshit. Or, you know, when, you know, something bad happened. Or she's just really sad. Or car breakdown. I have to be able to help her. Yeah. Ease that distress. Ease that dis-ease that she's got. Yeah. For me, that's really important. That's more <clears throat> important. I'm sorry. It's just, where it's just to me ain't really on my high list. It's my relationship. My relationship being the shit for her. Being like, damn, I'm the best thing to happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, For me, that's the most important thing. Because, you know, I've said this to her before. It's, you know, hey, marriage is something that I can die. I'm sorry. I can die. So the thing is, is that what if you get married and I die a week later? You know what I'm saying? Something can happen to me. I'd rather invest my love for her in, let's say, her business or something to help her with a business or something like that. Something that she'll continue to have through my help even after I'm gone that she can continue to have and it will grow 
for her family and for the black community when it gets that way. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that way she can always have me in a way. Even if she is, doesn't with somebody else after I'm gone, it's just she'll have me still in a way. That's longer lasting than a marriage. Marriage is okay. I mean, okay. But I mean, it's for her. Well, great. Okay, I got you. But I just, it doesn't last as long. I can just, I can die. So. I'd rather have well, we something could, last we, longer for her. We, we could both die. I mean, that is something that could be the case. We could. We're not saying we are. Yeah, I'm so just we're, saying we're, we're could, not at. Yeah. We're not saying we're going. We're not saying we're going. I mean, I'm not saying that. I'm we're not doing. To. We're not saying that. But the thing is, is I would just say that you know, it just as a priority, it's higher it's not a high. This. It's not on his top things to do right now and stuff. It's it's not. And you know, we're both doing that where we're trying to figure stuff out and stuff. So the next question is that people would ask is why don't you guys just go to the courthouse and get married for like $50? Me and my husband did it and we've been married for a long time so why don't you guys just do it? Ellen, do you want to answer this question? Yeah. The reason why we don't do it is because we don't do that is because we ain't Christians. We're not necessarily forced into it. It's not a dire need for us like that because if I'm going to be doing that it's going to be memorable for her she's going to I don't want her saying I want her having a marriage over her talking about I already heard some few girls say this already I don't feel any different no you supposed to feel different the whole thing about this whole marriage thing and about you having this whole day for yourself is to feel like the Queen of England or something and you're supposed to feel like you, you, you the shit. You got a whole country put your name, and everybody's looking at you, and you feel like the, 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 the best thing happening in those moments. And then after you feel like that, and after you're done, you feel like you still like the best thing happening for you. That's what you're supposed to feel. Okay? And all those promises and all those vows that I made that I said I'm going to do is now going to be implemented for the rest of the relationship because that's what it's about. That means all those vows and everything I said I was going to do after marriage is there for the rest of the relationship. Okay? So, that's why I ain't just going to go and spend no $50 because I'm not pressured. It's not a dire need. And I want her to have the experience that she wants to have that's going to be amazing or, you know, for her. That's why. So it can be memorable. So she can fucking have dreams about it being amazing. Okay? That's why. I mean, I wanted, I wanted him to be able to enjoy the, you know, I want him to be able to enjoy not just the, the wedding, but also our marriage after we get married. You know, that's very, an important thing to me that we both, you know, get a chance to do stuff like planning with stuff or whatever, because, you know, the way we see stuff is different. And when he gets ideas about stuff, you know, it'll be in a way that I never thought about. I'm like, wow, I never thought to do something like that. Or when he asks me about something and I recommend an answer to something, they'll say, well, wow, I never thought about it like that. You know, so like for me, it's like it'll be a team effort for both of us. We're going to be both saving up for, you know, a wedding and stuff. But, you know, we know that there is life after the marriage. We, you know, after, not after, well, yeah, after the, the wedding. OK, there is life after that. And we're still, you know, after we get married, yeah, we're going to come home. We have expectations about the type of home we're going to come home to. We don't want to be in an apartment. We want to be in a house. That's an example of something we want to do. And I want to have a prenup first because, you know, after living with her for seven years, you know, I realized. We haven't been know, living together seven years. We lived together four years. OK, well, after being with her or being in a relationship with her. Where we actually started with a boyfriend, girlfriend, and we went, moved on to the and engagement, mm -hmm. and where we are now, you know, stuff like that. So, like, there's things that I've already done in this relationship. I've done so much, okay? But, like, when I say done, I don't mean effort that I just put in day to day. I'm talking, I did stuff strictly for bettering the relationship, mm -hmm. figuring those things out. And I came to a point where I don't have anything else to give. So, since I hit that wall, my prenup is optimal. I, I need it. I yeah, need and it. I don't... Because she may be the type... At some point, like, it hasn't necessarily hit her yet that she realized that, damn, there's really nothing else that's more that he really is doing. So we're, like, kind of 
he does seem to be kind of second. hasn't hit her yet. So it's, there's room in there for her to grow apart because yeah. she, she might need that different personality that I don't have for her. So that's and, and I know that because I went through and I did everything I could. You know, without that big push towards better in the relationship, you know, how good can I be? You know, things like that. Doing everything. Okay, since I've done that, now I know. So that's why I need to have the prenup so that when we split, you know, the government's not involved. If we, if, uh, if that happens. Yeah, if that that's happens. That's if it happens. I mean, I feel like for me, I feel like I'm okay with a prenup, you know, and I know a prenup is, it's, you know, it is in case you do split, but it's also something where um, if something were to happen to me, like if I was in a hospital or something, you know, then he can make decisions for me, particularly for things, you know what I'm saying? If they have to do uh, surgery or something, then I will be giving him the ability to make those decisions for me and not having people in my family make those decisions, you know what I'm saying? It'll be something where I will give him my, you know, him as my husband the ability to do that. Or if, for example, he's in a hospital or something or whatever, and he's having a surgery, I can say, okay, you know, uh, it's okay to do this because he's in the coma or something like that or whatever. I'm okay with that. You know what I'm saying? If it's something to save his life or something, you know, type of thing. You know, and also to make decisions on stuff if we financially, you know what I'm saying? Um, like, for example, it might be something, let's say we both have an account for whatever reason. And, you know, let's say I got to go into it to the bank and I'm getting money out. And for some reason, there's something wrong with that account. Well, I can go into the bank and I can say, hey, um, you know, this isn't right, you know, um, and I'm on the account. I'm a signer on the bank account. So, you know, and I know that there's something going on. This money doesn't, you know, the amount of money is not that we put in here is not in here. There needs to be this investigation, you know, done. You know what I'm saying? Type of thing. So, you know, there's things that you know, I will be able to do because I am the wife and I'm making those decisions and I will be on an account. Now, he can have a separate account and I can have a separate account for stuff I want to do. Yeah, that's fine. You know, but we may have an account where if we're saving for something or whatever, you know, or, you know, I mean, there's different things, you know, that I may have to deal with. Like if we have, you know, car insurance because we both have cars, you know, we need to make decisions like that and I can make those decisions. Or bills. Bills are a good example. Um, so... With bills, if you have a person like right now, um, me and Anwan have, you know, different bills in our names or whatever. So the thing is, is like if you're not on an account, sometimes when it comes to a bill, like particularly internet, if you're not on that bill, like for charter, you know, his name is on the charter bill for the internet. So if I call in and I'm asking and requesting information on a bill to, you know, get it turned on or whatever. He would have to okay it. You know what I'm saying? It's not something where I can just do it. He would have to do it because he's the account holder. Now, if I'm his wife and, you know, I'm saying, well, you know, I'm his wife and this and that other or whatever, and I'm on the account, then I could go to make changes to it and stuff. And it asks me to wait to it when I'm calling and I'm on the account because I'm like, well, I'm his wife and, you know, such and such is not working. This isn't, you know, whatever, you know, to solve whatever problems, you know, it is, you know what I'm saying? and stuff, which is why we might both be on stuff, you know, because if I'm at work and then he got a call about something or whatever, you know what I mean? Or if, you know, if I'm running my business and he needs to handle something for me or something with respect to my car or whatever, he can do that. You know what I'm saying? That right. makes sense. But that's what, but that's why, see, that's all with marriage. What, that's what would, marriage, that's, that's what that will mean. You know what I'm saying? It's just well, yeah, that, that's what it would mean. But the thing is, is that I see what a, pre, a prenup. Will a pre, well, yeah, it helps pre, protect those type of things, and it like, helps to protect like what your it protects like things like your business. It protects you if you. It, it allows you to make decisions, though. Honestly, it does. Like with respect to hospitals and stuff, it actually does in healthcare and stuff. It does. Well, I, I, I understand that. I'm just saying that, like, you know, she if if we split, if we split then, she doesn't want me as a business partner. Forever, you know what I'm saying? Like she doesn't want me as a business partner like that, you know. If with because if I didn't get one, that's that, that's what would happen. Yeah, you know but I mean, even if even if we went, even if we did split, which I never kind of necessarily splitting, you know, because me once I get married, I'm I'm just I'm just 
kind of with it. Everything, but that's me. That's me saying that. But what do you want to say? I want to say that you know it puts what you're willing to do and will not accept in a relationship on paper. Yeah. So if they leave, you just need to look at what the fuck you wasn't doing because she'll tell you or he'll tell you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That you know it's like, well, you said this. You yeah. Know? It's in black and white. So that way, you're held to your words and. It's it's different mm -hmm. when you remember that you said that and you it's like oh yeah okay since I said that no, I'll go ahead and do that. it you know yeah there you go That's and that, and that makes sense the the thing about the um fifty bucks though like I can understand going to the whorehouse and getting married with fifty dollars I can understand that if y'all trying to keep the cost low or something. And you know y'all just want to get married, do some real, do that, and then you y'all got plans to go on a vacation or something for your honeymoon. I can kind of see that if you're trying to keep the cost way down, and maybe you, and you know maybe for whatever reason you and your family don't see eye to eye on everything, but you want to marry the person that you're you know that you live with or something. I can see that situation. And some people do not have good relationships with their family. You know what I'm saying? And they don't want to have to put up with people in their family. For some people, going to family reunions might be something they don't want to do. Because every time they go to a family reunion, they may have that, those people at the family reunion that they do not want to deal with. And they don't want to get married and deal with that. I can see that. Okay? I can definitely see it. We ain't going to do it, though. Because that's not really the way that I look at, you know, us having a wedding being like. I look at it like having something where I have my family and friends there and they can see it and I can see people in my family and stuff. That's a really big thing to me. And having a fifty dollar wedding in the courthouse is not my, you know, vision of doing something. I will not be satisfied. I know I will not be. I have a picture of what I want it to be. Um now taking the time and waiting until we get things right, yeah, um there is things that like that do sadden me, like the fact that there's you know, relatives who are past that won't be able to be there. That is something that bothers me. But the thing is, is that I know I have to be ready because when I walk down that aisle, you know what I'm saying? I'm in front of people in my family and I'm I'm saying to these people that I'm getting married and this person I'm getting married to and I'm very serious about this type of thing. And, you know, I don't want to have it be something where am I doing the right thing or is this going the right way? I don't want to be asking those questions. You got a lot of them walk down the aisle and they know for certain that they don't want to, you know, they really don't want to be with the person, but they're just caught up in experience. Me, I want to be the, you know, I want to know when I'm walking down the aisle, you know, when I'm looking down the aisle, I see him and it's one of those things like, I know I'm doing the right thing. I know I, in my heart, this is what I want. You know, this is what I want to do. This is, you know, what we want to do. And, you know, I mean, to me, when I'm wearing the, the dress type of thing, it's, it's one of those things where, you know, I guess it's one of those things like I will get a chance to, you know, yeah, what the pretty dress, you know. Of course, I'm not wearing a mermaid dress because he doesn't like those. Um, and he'll probably laugh and I'll get mad if I spent a whole bunch of money on it. Um, but it just it, looks so funny looking. It'll just be one of those things to me where, like, I think it's those things where I'll get a chance to, I'll look, I guess, yeah, I do get the princess moment, I guess, or whatever, which is going to be kind of weird because I might be like, have an umbrella, maybe, if I don't like people, if I just had an umbrella in front of me. A little like, bo -peep. No, I'm, I'm literally mean like an umbrella. A little bo like am I, No. I mean, umbrella. I will get an umbrella like the one you get outside, and if I do not want people taking pictures of me, I will open the umbrella. For people not to take pictures. I might do, I think I might do That's that. That's not, don't do that. <laughs> oh, come on. That's going to be Why can I do, so? Cause it's, it'll be, it'll be our wedding. We do whatever the hell we want to. Nah, nah, I wouldn't recommend It's not pissing, bad, love. I wouldn't recommend pissing everybody off. Okay, well. It, people had to take off work. People, some people, <laughs> some people took risks. And yeah. And already couldn't take off of work. And they yeah. took off of work anyway. So, okay, I guess so. I, I just, in my vision of it, like. The thing is, I'll get a chance. One thing I think about the whole, you know, the wedding thing is I will get a chance to look pretty for him. And I think it'll be, I'll look different in a way because, like, I'll have makeup and all that stuff. And I don't wear makeup, so he'll get a chance to see me like that and it'll be different. You know, so it, it it's going to be one of those, like, I don't I don't know. Right, which question are we on? All right, so the, the one with the $50. We're going to move on, though. 
Um, so the next question, wrong well, question number three. So, um, this wrong question number three. Oh come on! So, I guess so she next question. Morning, she gonna be so um, the next question is that people will ask is, you posted your engagement on Facebook for everybody to see, so you might as well get married. And would you like to answer that question about us posting on Facebook the engagement part, or you want me to start? Well. I wanted her to have it. I mean, I had these people who was all dressed up take a pic take the pictures. They seemed like they wouldn't mind. They seemed like they were like they were about to do stuff themselves. So I had them take the pictures. You know, it's just uh I kind of use Facebook as a gallery, just some place to save my pictures so I can pick them up later. So I can get them off my damn camera phone and off my you know computer or something. I can just pick them up whenever I need to. But that's kind of where I where I use Facebook. It's just that, you know, that's why I posted them. I do that a lot. Yeah. Which is kind of what I do. But, um, you know, it's kind of like, you know, so since I posted on Facebook, I might as well get married. Well, I'm not going to, like, take a shit and then money's going to fall out. You know what I'm saying? I just don't, you don't do that. Money ain't going to come out my ass out of nowhere. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it's got to be saved. Yeah. I'm sorry. It, it does. It's got to be saved. I mean, I my response to it is that. And since um, I don't want to start my marriage on loans and debt, I don't want to do that. So, for how I would answer the person or people who feel that way that I posted it on Facebook for everybody to see, so I might as well get married. Um, today, I seen that there there's uh, somebody on my Facebook timeline, and they're going to be getting married or whatever to their significant other, or whatever, and stuff. And you know, and they're talking about their engagement and stuff or whatever. You know, there are so many people who say a lot of shit on Facebook. People say a lot of stuff. You know, I mean, people say they're married on Facebook, but really they're not married. It's just a, a term they use to, to say that they're together or whatever. Now, I know when people are married on Facebook because if it's a girl and she's married, you know, and she's like, like seriously married, then you're going to see some pictures of her in a wedding dress. You're going to see that with her and her family. And you're going to see that she got this wedding cake and you're going to see the place and the bouquet. you going to see those pictures. You're going to see the pictures of, you know, her and her husband. You're, you're going to see they're all dressed up and stuff. She got her makeup all done up and everything. you going to see that if they're really married. You're going to see that. Now, people who say they're married to mean that they're, they're together, you know they're not married. Because whenever I see that and it says such and such is married to such and such. Okay, so... I go to look at their profile and they I don't see no no wedding pictures. I'm like, oh, okay, so they just lying. It's just it's just something to say, you know, because they they want to say, oh, we're married on Facebook. But being married on Facebook doesn't mean you're married in real life. It doesn't mean that, you know. What I mean, I mean, like I said, people say a lot of shit on Facebook, you know. Um, yeah, so it doesn't really mean anything. It's kind of like I, I mean, our engagement does mean something. I mean, I mean we are our, engaged. I mean, I'm saying like for people on Facebook who just say that, like you know how they say, well, if it ain't on Facebook and it ain't real. So, you know, when they put it on Facebook, you know what I'm saying, it, you know, it's it, nothing to take seriously. It's, it's just like the Christians who go underneath the girl twerking, talking about, I love Jesus and I love God, and they post it right underneath the girl twerking. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. It don't really mean anything. Yeah, and I mean, one thing about our engagement, I'm really glad about this because um, I think that, I, oh, maybe I'll save it till later. I mean, because I, I, I think that the girl having a, um, you know, engagement ring is good. But, I mean, you know, uh, maybe I'll just say anyway, I think it's a good idea for the guy to have an engagement ring and stuff because, I mean, he doesn't have one, so I'm probably going to get one because, you know, that's kind of what I want to do anyway. So, because I have one, no, so he know. can have one. I didn't even know that was a thing. So, you know, so I think I, I want to get him one, you know, um, but I'm not going to tell him when it's going to happen. I kind of, you know, we'll see. I got some other surprises for him too. Um, at some other point that I've been looking at at work and stuff, and some stuff I've been planning for him, but I'm not gonna tell him about that though. But I got ideas and stuff for him and stuff, and you know, but he doesn't know what that is. Damn, so. I wasn't expecting to get none. <laughs> yeah, I I have been, but I, I expected to get yeah, none. Yeah, I would, but I didn't want you to know yet. I I'm wasn't not expecting anything. You. Well, I'm not. Right. It'll be what's, a surprise. What's the next question? You don't want the surprise? 
I didn't say that. I said I wasn't expecting it. I didn't, I <laughs> you didn't said I didn't say that. I didn't even know it was up in the air and up in the energy and in the universe for a team yeah. to happen. So uh, the next question is, oh, it's to finish off the point about posting on Facebook. You know, yeah, we're engaged, but we're going to take our time. You know, it doesn't mean just because we're posting on Facebook, we got to hurry up and run down the aisle. You know, just to satisfy what people think. I have a mental fortitude that will not do anything you say when you say it. It is just that way. I have a backbone, got a spine. Okay, so I was gonna say uh, the next part is about. So there are people, and they ask me, "When are you getting married?" To me, and they ask this during events. So recently, I had someone ask me when I was getting married at my aunt Mary's funeral, and I thought that was very inappropriate to ask me at a funeral. Like during the repast, like where they eat and stuff. I thought that that was very inappropriate. I know as an older person, I know it's like, you know, someone in my family that, you know, does honor uncle stuff. I understand that. But a funeral is not the place to ask. And maybe they're, and I was thinking maybe they're asking because they want to look forward to a, a better sense of, set of circumstances. But unfortunately, it's at a funeral. It's not appropriate, you know. So, a funeral's not the best place. Now, um, there are people who ask me when it comes to on my dad's side when I'm at, you know, events. They will ask me and they will say, oh, when are you guys getting married? And they've said this every damn year. And, you know, they ask this. And I'm just like, like, they want me to hurry up and get married. I mean, they're really religious, so... I guess they have it in their mind that if they, as many times they ask me, that means that it's going to happen, you know, and stuff because they're trying to remind me, oh, remember, you're not married, but you're engaged. You should get married. And I'm just like, and the thing is, they won't even ask me, how are you doing? <laughs> They'll just say, when are you getting married? And I'm just like, well, I haven't seen you in a long time. That's the only thing you can say to me? When you get married? And it'll be more than one person. Why? Like, if you want to see a wedding so much, why don't you get married? Oh. I mean, <laughs> oh. I'm just serious. Like, oh. you know, oh. or a person, if, they, if they're if they married, <laughs> renew your vows. I mean, that's what you could do. Oh, no, they, they ain't trying to renew vows now. Renew no renew their vows. No, there's some people who do. They ain't trying to do that because when they do that, now they held to something. So, they ain't trying to be held to nothing. They just they they got married off of lying. So <laughs> some the, people got married off of lying about their vows. <laughs> that's how they that's how they got married, and now they ain't done shit. So the next um next part is to go along with that. I wanted to talk about how Anwan and I are treated because we aren't married when it comes to us being at events particularly with my family because with his family well i don't see how that with the many damn ways so i don't really care what the hell they think so Sorry. you know when it comes to when he comes to me to my if the only events at, for my family we're going to talk about uh both when we're at events and when we're not at events how we are treated by people um as far as us not being married is concerned so honey why don't you tell me about Tell everybody about what happened after we left that event for my dad's family and we went to the Walmart and what happened when you saw a family member of mine walking around. Oh, well, I went to Walmart and it just happened after the event, right? And everything was cool. Everybody was, you know, all Christianed up. Yeah. Peace, God, Jesus, love, mercy. And I thought, man, must be some cool black folks. So then, I saw one of them that was preaching all that, and uh, I said, hey, what's up? He was, at the Walmart? Yeah, at the Walmart. I said, hey, what's up? And he just kept walking, turned around, put his hands down. No, it happened three times. The first two times, he was on the phone. So it was basically like, hey, what's up? And he was blah, 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 talking to her, blah, 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 this. And then, but the third time, I said he wasn't on the phone. And I said... Hey, you good, man? What's up, man? You know, walking, walking past. I'm not. I'm not. I mean, I'm not actually deliberately seeking this dude out. 
we just so have to be cops in each other's past because Michelle's in the store doing something. You know, I'm taking a look around and checking things that I might want later. I always do that. You know, because I like planting and I like gardening or whatever. Irrelevant. But anyways, he goes, uh, you know, he'll, he, and he, you know, he looked at me and he was like, like that. And I was like, the fuck? What happened to this Jesus, God, peace, love, mercy that all this preaching was going on and everything that was happening at this event? 